We've all heard the same saying. The fish go deep in the winter. The fish are, you know, sluggish, slow. You have to work your bait slow. All this nonsense. Well, on today's video, I'm going to show you why it's bull. As we all grew up with, you know, somebody in our life teaching us how to fish or learning how to fish through magazines, online, reading about it, or just trying it out ourselves. And what everybody has always said, when the water gets cold, these fish are going to move deeper. You know, they're not, their metabolism isn't going to be very high and they're going to eat slower. But let's let's take a take a second and actually think this through. Y'all check out this green pumpkin right here. Green pumpkin and the OG is coming out soon. Starting to get a big stack of them over here. But let's take a second and, and just deep dive into this conversation that nobody wants to have. Now it is true that some wintertime crappy do go deep to deep brush piles you know that 20 to 30 feet brush piles but i'm gonna be completely transparent with you those fish are not worth catching 90 percent of the time what do i mean by not worth catching they're you know just your average size crappy when i think of wintertime i think of your two to three pound fish and that's what i want to go after i don't want to sit spot lock on a brush pile using live scope to make a perfect cast every time and limit out on eight to ten inch fish but if that's what you want to do by all means i, I mean th that's you but me for my 20 plus years of crappy fishing experience i know that the bigger fish are big for a reason you know i mean look at me you see this big old gut i mean yeah i could sit around all day be lazy and eat and probably get a lot bigger but i'm very proactive i mean me and my wife we try to walk every single day you know some days we walk almost five to five to six miles a day but still i'm big and why because i be chasing that daggone mcdonald's those taco bells the mexican and all that i'd be chasing it down and i'd be eating it up now you take a two pound class crappy that crappy has been alive for a couple years this fish is not dumb this fish is out there actively feeding you know they're not going to have those big old guts sitting on a 30 foot brush pile when all the shad and stuff is in the creek channels and the channel swings and they're up there in that 15 to 10 foot water column or even sometimes shallower if you have dingy water or muddy water they're going to be all the way in the backs of the creeks and those bigger fish are going to follow the bait they're not going to be out there on that daggone brush pile just, you know, swimming around. Hey, they're over there like, hey, what's up, Joe? What's going on, Fred? No. These fish are in spawn mode. All winter long, all they know that their core brain is going to tell them, hey, I'm about to go lay some eggs. All those ones on those brush piles are probably males. I mean, that's the only way I can figure it. You can go on those brush piles, that'd be 100 to 200 fish. You go get your little limit, get you some little bitty pieces of crappy when you get home, et cetera, et cetera. Or, or you can do this crazy thing. Go find your bait in your creek channels, your river channels, and then you're going to find your biggest fish. That's why tight lining and pulling jigs in the next couple weeks is going to be on fire with people catching just huge crappy because that's the simplest way to catch crappy this time of year without forward facing sonar is the tight line or pull jigs through creek channels until you figure out where the fish are now if you have forward facing sonar everything gets a little bit simpler but everybody i see with forward facing sonar gets on top of a brush pile hit spot lock and that's all they do they waste their daggone money like you could do that with 2d sonar get out there and actively chase these fish down if you watch a crappy masters or anything these people are all over they never stay still they go out there and they target the biggest fish they can find and it's so simple to do with forward facing sonar with i mean okay i've put like ten thousand hours into it so i guess i can say it's simple but if you don't get out there and try it you're never going to learn 
and you're going to be sitting there well the fish are deep they're not very active oh oh i caught one he's not very big though i can't i can't find them out there's no bait like stop making excuses hit those creek channels those river channels look for the swings in the bend that's where you're going to find your biggest and baddest stop thinking everything you've read in your past whole generation you know i mean this video is probably going to piss off a lot of you but that, that's okay to be honest with you i mean uh, you got to get a little pep in your step you know use your side scan use your down scan find the bait find the fish up under the bait on your 2d your your down scan put some minnows out pull some crappy man jigs use your live scope put the new og in front of their face go catch you a two pounder this winter early spring the time is now yes it's cold as hell outside i'm gonna be quite honest with you i don't even think i can handle the, how cold it is right now but you know you still got to get out there you got to learn how to how, how to use your electronics put them to the test put a crappy man jig in their face and i can guarantee you're going to catch more fish Hope you enjoyed today's video. Just a little raw video. Like, you know, stop stop trying to chase eight to ten inches living on that 30-foot brush pile. Actively find you a two-pounder.